Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to more <clears throat> Knights of Azure 2. Oh, good, you, you finally are pronouncing it right. While you were here, yes. <laughs> uh, so last time we made some progress with the Eclipse Moon, Malvasia, and we are now going to head back to where we left off and go confront uh, Valderosta to save uh, Rui. So we can uh, progress somewhere through the uh, dungeon as well. But we gotta get through some enemies and activate those switches we found earlier again. Because when you actually do leave the area, you have to activate those switches once again if you wanna. If you uh, want to get to the boss area again. Oh yeah, the like, oh, yeah, like, guy. You were here when we talked about this, but uh, you heard they're making a, a Thunderman movie. Why? <laughs> exactly. I'm not sure either why they're doing it, to be honest, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to sit back. The, the trailer did look interesting for what I saw, but... I mean, yeah. well, just depends on how they did with it. It's all on the stage. We'll, we'll, we'll see then. I'm just surprised they are doing this, to be honest. <laughs> Really now watch it, now watch it, now watch it, gonna make it, Emily wants to play. No, it will not happen. <laughs> that game's just, that game's short and all, there's no way they would do it. I know, right? Slender Man is based on a creepy pasta, and Emily wants to play, is just a video game. Is that, is that the based on it? Yeah, there's only no long series of such a been doing, which can make it a movie. <laughs> They, I heard, well, Ari was here earlier, but they were talking about like they were trying to make a FNAF movie, but well, it never got a chance to happen. If you don't know what FNAF is, it's fine. Oh, not oh, oh. Yeah, if anyone doesn't know what FNAF is, it's a five minutes of phrase, just so people don't know it. FNAF. <laughs> what a name. What a crap. Hey, the Ruination 4, favorite person of F and Dark Force. Bad. Oh boy. <laughs> I kinda wish you'd be an anime for that series of Fairy Fits of F. That'd be pretty cool though. Yeah, how come, why did they make an anime for that yet? They made an anime out of a uh, freaking uh, Neptunia. I guess that series is just a little more popular, I guess, to give it a try, I guess, so I don't know. So, I mean, I'm sure they have the reasons. Oh yeah, I love pop in one of those Neptunia games. Boobies! Ignore the creepy pasta stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm well, waiting for you. Yeah. Oh shit. Hey, boobie. <laughs> well, you did miss the boobies in, 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 in my playthrough. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. I don't remember that horror I saw back there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, again, I know, it's a beautiful sight to see, but they could at least cover the freaking breast for fuck's sake. <laughs> More of what you expect from Aphrodite. Aphrodite, yeah. Yeah, the goddess of, uh, of sex. Yes. Oh, yes, that's sir. what it means. Okay, thank you. Okay, second time we're fighting Valderosa now. And yeah, she said three parts of hell, so it's gonna make her a little tougher to fight. Of all the bosses I've faced before, I think she's probably the one the more annoying ones to fight. Because of her uh, second phase. Um, the first phase is about the same as from when you fought her last time in the Frozen Moon Palace. She will jump down, jump up to attack you from above at times. But this first phase is not really that, uh, not that hard at all. And I would have the fighter. Also, I'm glad they took the time off like I said before, because um, if you were trying to do this with low time, you would it'd be a tough it'd just be a tough battle for you. So this fight would be recommended if the time kept on for bosses. You need to do this when you come back to the uh, Eclipse Moon Palace <laughs> to make this easier. Hora, hora. Be right back. Alright, timing for phase two now. So, she's gonna bring this. Uh, she's gonna bring the Stalagmites down now. Onto the field. 
You want to go to the one that you climb up on. Like so. She's going to stay up there no matter what, so you're, she'll eventually try to attack you by coming towards you. Honestly, having the mirror shield would be probably the best thing to have to repel some of the magic attacks. I don't do that really. I should, to be honest. I was trying to use one of my servers to see if I can actually reach close enough to damage her, but well, unfortunately it's not working. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to come over here to attack me, but she just keeps staying over there. One by Scarpin. Scarf just fell in. I thought that I absolutely would probably work, but uh, it doesn't reach up there. I thought I spread around. There she comes. Serial. We are actually trying to cover over though. Just try to damage as much as you can. That's all I can really say about this fight. Or for this phase here. It's this. This is one of the more annoying phases. <laughs> that jump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't you re-equip your weapon though? No, you kind of have to set with what you went and got uh, before you head out. That's kind of the annoying part. You gotta do it before you leave to help for your mission. I mean, down he goes again. <laughs> yes, first car just getting one scene up there. I'm just trying to get free hits on her when I can, and when she's well, smart enough to come over here. But yeah, with the time limit doing this, this would be a pain to do. So this is why I was saying come back here when you want to come back here again and have access to this to this boss, so you have a lot more time to handle her. Get in there though. I'm just trying to block everything until she decides to come over here. Yeah, I'm talking to you, you bitch. Come on, baby. Get the fuck off, yeah, damn it. I am rocking the crap. Luigi's getting bored of this already. It's so good, you're so good to me. Gosh damn it. In the words of Scorpion, get over here. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Now I got a double chance. I, I don't know when that pops up for her knees. It it's different for her as compared to others, but. It worked though. That's one way to get her down, but she will go back up again. But she doesn't have a lot of health on her now, so this pain in the ass phase is about over and it can start on the uh, final phase. Alright, one more time. Back up again. Just gotta get a little bit more than start the last phase, which is more easier, but she does have an attack where you can lose about 90% of your health. So you want to be very careful with that when she does that move. Yeah, uh, I was hoping that would have worked, but I guess not. Wow, you're wow, you still in there, boss. <laughs> well, uh, one, welcome back. And two, yeah, I was mentioning before this phase is, um, this phase is a, a real pain in the ass. Look how fast she jumps. She ain't waste time. She jumps Yo. better than Mario. Uh, oh man, if I had the freaking, uh, freaking what you call it, the, the empty bottle. Jeebus, now we got her down. Alright, now the third phase. Um, I mentioned to Bore about the attack without do about 90% of your health. You want to be careful when she does that. Um, two, um, she will do an attack where she'll spread all her webs around the floor, make you uh, make a movement more difficult for you. That's about it, really, for her. That's all I'll say now, only for a certain reason on the third phase. Not during the second phase, but for the third phase, more importantly. Oh, yeah, right here is where she'll do it. And she's dead. Whew. Now we have to be the real Valderosa, not a fake like last time. Whew. Thank goodness.
役目何のことだどうだっていいじゃない人間は炎や電気で必死になって夜を光で埋めようとしているそうしていずれ世界は光で溢れ夜のない国が訪れる。The light, they prefer darkness. They like it better like that. And that's why they're trying to. It's so hard to make it work, just make it dark every single day. No light, no nothing, all darkness. But then the humans would be happy about it, having no light on there either. <laughs> あなたのような人間がもっと世界にいたら。Yeah, Lee、uh, Mavastia, that's someone we met in the、uh, very first part of this playthrough. Who also、uh, killed the Luce as well. Uh, all I can say is we'll try our best, Alvarosa. That's all we can do. And she did drop an important item. Of course、so、she did. Grabs it. <laughs> Got the、yeah. keys now. So, now we can save Rui. <laughs> yeah, but、uh, Rui, we gotta do one more thing though before、uh, we do that. <laughs> Rui, come on, we don't have time. Gosh damn it. <laughs> like how they play the music, but Rui stops her dead every time. It's just funny to see that. <laughs> One more time. Gosh damn it, Rui. Oh, come on, man. Was <laughs> she scared? She, she wants to tell her, wants her to say something, you know. But nope. There we go. Well, I might as well won't see this here we should wear、uh, where freaking、uh, Bobby and、uh, Ray were stabbing each other. I was like, wait, 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 wait. What? I want to see this here where Ray was trying to stab Bobby and, and Bobby would try to. He, he stopped because he was getting his stab. Oh, wow, I don't think、yeah. about that at all. Yeah, that's what is Luchin. Also, uh, damn it, I get. Uh, stuff up more blue blood, so. It's getting more worse. But now that we saved Rui, we can now go ahead and return to the、uh, hotel yeah, now. Just head off. Uh, Ari. All right. Yeah, head off right now. Alright, so that bit now is done. Now, once we return, we can actually focus on the main task at hand. Their love for Luce, our, our niece. Gosh, damn it! I've been getting Luce and niece mixed up so many times lately. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, Luce's seeking, you know. That you know they're more worried about Rui than well herself right now. She doesn't want them to you know worry about Luchi right now in the slightest. Even if you know she becomes a full demon. But more things about to come up now. Oh, since、so、now they got Rui back, so another event here.
So I got Luja wrestling now. We got these two talking now. Agent Arusha, Omani Ume or Takusta. So Dana, Luen Hido. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be the thing that's gonna, well, pretty much decide Luja's fate. Koreva Skino Joe, Nishinzo, Tsurano Kareta, Arusha, Aratana Shinzo, Ishokusta Toki. その中に古代機構を埋め込んだ。ヨーマの心臓を宝石に変えて破壊する。これはそのスイッチだ。See yes, that necklace there. Rui can now decide Aluji's fate now. Alright, so if so, so if you don't keep the necklace. Um, the necklace, well, this will only happen, um, if you, well, she'll actually use the necklace if, um, I believe that she will use it during the bad ending, which is, well, I am going to be showing off first. But, uh, yeah, uh, so basically, if Rui activates that necklace, her heart and every thing in her body becomes a jewel and will pretty much kill her then oh man her heart organs all, everything all around her becomes a jewel and then pretty much kills her then if she were ever to become a full-blood demon from too much absorption of the blood yeah, it's kind of rough right now, so... And, well, Rui's got to decide the fate of the Luchi now and see what happens. I mean, now, I'm sure although Rui doesn't want to kill a Luchi, she wants to save her as well. But she's got that there in case something happens, so... That comes, it comes. <clears throat> Bam, though, she's fully recovered. Now we're ready to try again. The eclipse. <laughs> Dude, I am so rusty at this game. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm, I have a hard time with her most requirements or performance uh, stunning. Oh, for a hero? Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm blaming it on that part. I understand. Yeah, right now I gotta, I gotta go see the snake and get the uh the warp dance. Yeah, oh, cause, yeah. You, cause you have to turn, get the freaking gem jug. Yeah, which starts the whole grinding the gems. So many gems. Uh real quick though, time for another level up. Before we uh head off to the Clips moon house once again. Yeah, we're actually gonna do it again in the next Sunday game. Eh, this was good to see then. Yeah. Uh, what did I actually try to play Bane this time? I'm trying to remember if I do or not. No, I don't. Okay, I save him. Oh, yeah. Can't forget my, you know, servants, of course, give them more points and all. Oh, yeah. Gonna use our next evolution on this on Freud here. Um,. Not really much changes with him. Like, the ears, the ears are a little more pink and see a little more of his eyes, I guess, there. So, it's not much of an evolution, not much of a change on its evolution, really. But, I mean, it, it is stronger now than it looks, so that's uh, all I can really say about that part. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try to get fired on Warriors this this month. Go for it. You should get it. I'm really good. I'm gonna leave Trots too, because I would have got uh, so many freaking games to on that freaking month. <laughs> so I pretty much got everything but Fire and Warriors. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was bringing um, Farfall in for a reason. For a couple things to collect in the um, palace. So, let's pretty much remember for the well, last 10 minutes of this video here. Uh, going through the uh, War of the Eclipse Palace of Mavasia. 
speaking of Switch, the game they did they a little more update about the whole Switch sales. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that Switch sell the most in uh, in history in the U.S. Yeah. Oh, compared oh, to the Wii U, which I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> At least it's doing. At least it's doing good. It's, at least it's, been, it's doing good. Or great. Oh yeah, definitely. That's a good thing. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Excuse me. Oh. Uh, I got found a chance for the fucking uh, super revive dance. <laughs> oh yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, from the snake merchant. So, uh, you don't want to take the gate, actually. You want to use the jump there just to help get to here a little faster. Because the keys you got earlier from Valorosa leads to that door over there as well that we saw earlier. Oh, okay. So, we need to go over here to continue on the uh, other side of the restaurant right now. After well, we kill some enemies here first. Well, of then it. Here we go, Liz. Yeah, I guess a lot of stuff happens in this episode. Oh, yeah, from killing the other ones. Uh, talking about. Uh, excuse me. About how humans and demons have trouble coexisting. And now Rui been left left the uh has now the key to loot Jay's fates. Well, it depends on what happens. But now we're we're now working our way up to now get into Malvasia, the Moon Queen. And no, we will not get her in this episode. It'll probably be in the next episode we will, where we get the uh, first of three endings to this game. The next two endings I'll be going after will be uh, a little more faster to get though. It'll be oh, like you got Alif. <laughs> oh, you, you know that physical issue and, and have you get it wrong? What's that? The and have you get it wrong when you max it out? Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, you, you, you can chase the final boss with that. Especially, especially when you get the tiara. Oh yeah, that, that's what I did. I just got the invincibility on to fight uh, uh, Risky and um, Dynamo. Dynamo, oh yeah. It's yeah. a freaking joke. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that was the point. I, I care. That was the easiest way to do it. Yeah. Also, there's oh, the. Uh, I, I don't really. I don't know what it's for, and it's a bitch. I did without the inventory. It was. Risky was still a little. Tough to fight, but it wasn't too bad. And Dynamo still seemed nasty easy. I just flipped the real final part. Oh. Oh, wow, I'm stupid fast on that treasure chest. There's actually a place to get that another treasure chest there, but I think we needed a uh, scarf for that one. So, this area is. Wait, did you say scarf or scar? Scarf, uh, the, the, the uh, servant I had from before. Okay, I actually switched. Um, so this place is a, it's a small puzzle. It's it's an easy one though. Uh, not that, this is it not complicated as the ones in, in the Zelda series. So you just want to make sure you take the right warp. If you take the wrong one by accident, it will take you back to the beginning. Oh my god, oh, I see something is the jiggly <laughs> Kind of does, I think. <laughs> it does. Uh, I keep hearing Jimmy Puff. Gosh damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're looking for these two switches here. We found the first one. In the center there, um, that's what we need to uh, have to make them. Just so we can press onward. But yeah, like I said, this is pretty easy though to do. Alright, so we have the first one activated. One will take you back to start, one will take you to the center. If you want to go there, but you need to get the other switch activated too before progressing onward. Okay, so that done, we can go activate the next switch. Again, we don't have to really fight the enemies if you don't want to. 
They're just gonna be one thing on the experience. Which is usually helpful. Oh yeah, I was trying to remember which one it was. And that should be the right one. Yeah, it was okay, to be good. It was just this one, I forgot which one led to the center, which I really wanted to go. <laughs> Okay, and that's both activated now. Oh, and that was actually the wrong way. Whoops. No, 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 no. no. Wrong way. Damn it, TT. Yeah, I meant to go uh, right instead of left to go to the uh, uh, center there. And there we go. Oh, what did they make a Denny Kong Racing 2? For the Switch. Yeah. Never, probably. I mean, it would be nice, but yeah, it may not happen. No, it won't happen. That game's owned by Rare. It's not. Uh, uh, as long as long as yeah, Rare does. As long as they take out Bed the Zoe and uh and uh what's that girl's name? Take some. But... I doubt it though. I think regardless, it won't matter. And Cocker. And also. Take oh, him out as well. Uh, sorry, uh, we were trying to save you, so sorry. Well, there was at one point they were going to make a Donkey Kong racing. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, Donkey yep. Kong racing? <laughs> yes. I know. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know there was like a barrel blast they did before for like racing. Oh, yeah, you've done that before. <laughs> oh, damn. I should have the wrong one again. Um, no, I mean. <laughs> It was, it, was like a, it was like a racing game though, and it was alright. Donkey Kong Racing, wow. That's a, that's a good one. Yeah, it'd be pretty nice to see that played, so I wouldn't mind seeing it. Okay, yeah, I guess I took the wrong way by accidentally. Oh, we'll see I, forgot what the, I forgot what that shit is, you can also walk through the enemies like they're not with it. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I forgot how broken the shield was. <laughs> okay, so jump up here would just really take you to the warp faster. But, um, I believe we gotta... Oh yeah, I kinda do it just the normal way, anyway. In case you don't have it. In case you don't have your, uh, jumping partner here that help you out here. Kinda of be easier anyway, so no one have to get over there. In case. Did, okay, I didn't know that was a glitch there. I guess I had behind a wall, I didn't know. Oh boy. You almost broke the game. You no, know, the game crashed though a couple of times before because I was skipping through events but too fast. Oh, that's why I didn't even crash the game by skipping the events too fast. Um, yeah, New Game Plus can actually skip the events you see, but if you do it too many times, it can probably crash. And I've done that probably three times now. Way to go, Marvel! Marvel said this. Marvel okay, made made this. Oh, who made this game? Koi Tecmo. <laughs> oh, Koi Tecmo, okay. Yeah. And the Switch is actually back here, nobody noticed, so... A little sneaky put it there. Um, but yeah, just be careful and not to uh, skip events a lot, because it could probably crash. Just do it here and there, at times it should be okay. Oh yeah, that, that just showing now we're just 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 you back there. I know it's easier just to jump over, not to worry about it, but that's just for in case no one doesn't have that. Oh yeah, missed a chest. Down a Luchi. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and this chest also has an evolution gem. No period. Again, yes. <laughs> See, and so you can find basically three evolution gems overall. Oh, wow. Okay, if it was almost over. Yeah, we're about done. We have a minute left. I was just trying to head to the nearest gate so I could stop recording. So I kept going, it's been a while. Yeah, this is our day point for in the episode. So we're at the Moon Tower now. And this is pretty much going to be the last section of the area. Oi, oi. 
we're gonna have to we're gonna be have to work on next. But for now, like I said, we're low on time, so we'll have to cover this area in the uh, next part. I don't do my outro yet because we're not at the time yet. Yeah, we won't be at the we'll be do the whole later. Yeah, in case it's going on and on and on until time goes up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm keeping on the time. Okay. So, we got a lot done in the Eclipse uh, Palace of Malvasia. <laughs> and in the next episode, now we're happy done with our nieces uh, in A2. Uh, next time, we're going to go finally confront Ma uh, the Moon Queen Malvasia and cover the first of three endings to the game. So, uh, until then, later, folks. Later. Later.